Today I'm going to make the most delicious harissa chicken wings with the beautiful Castle Blue aioli. So for it you need chicken wings, honey, Greek yogurt, lemon, cumin, harissa, cinnamon and garlic. And then for the aioli you need two good quality eggs, garlic, Dijon mustard, extra virgin olive oil, vegetable oil, white wine vinegar and beautiful Castle Blue cheese. So I'm going to start by making the harissa chicken wings. So what you want to do is get bang all the ingredients into a bowl and whisk them all together. So I've got beautiful honey. I've got a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of ground cumin. The Greek yogurt. The all important harissa. So I'm crushing up two cloves of garlic. A little sprinkle of sea salt always helps crush the garlic that much easier. And then next is the lemons. So always roll out your lemons before you juice them. And I don't try out these lemons because what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my board down with a bit of sea salt and lemon afterwards and it gets rid of all of the garlic flavours or the smells on my board. And then just whisk all of this gorgeous marinade together. It should be lovely and creamy. I want the marinade to be able to coat the chicken and almost like stick to it. The smells of the beautiful harissa. If you haven't used harissa before, I absolutely love it as an ingredient. It's something that's always in my store cupboard. Then get a roasting tray or a baking sheet and pop your raw chicken wings onto the tray. And then I'm gonna get my harissa marinade and dunk the chicken wings in it. You know these are going to taste so good once they're roasted. So all the bits of marinade that's left over, I'm just going to scoop it over. So I'm going to let these marinade in the fridge for about an hour. So the chicken wings have been marinating in this beautiful harissa for an hour. And I'm popping them into the hot oven for 45 minutes. But after about 15 minutes, I'm going to have a check of them and baste them with the spoon. And that's basically spooning the marinade back over the chicken wings, any bits that have run off. And while the chicken wings are roasting, I'm going to make this beautiful cashew blue aioli to dip them in. To make the aioli, you want to separate your eggs from, so the egg whites into a bowl and the egg yolks into a mixing bowl. We're not going to use the egg whites in this recipe, but they're fantastic to pop aside for meringues or pavlova. And then next in goes the Dijon mustard. I love Dijon mustard. It gives gorgeous creamy texture and also that lovely kind of mustard spiciness. Whisk that in together and then next I'm going to slowly drivel in the vegetable oil and I also got extra virgin oil. If I use just extra virgin olive oil it can become quite just a little bit too heavy and too oily. And next is the extra virgin olive oil. It really does make a difference if you use good quality eggs in aioli. It brings so much flavour and beautiful colour as well. So next I'm whisking in white wine vinegar. You could use lemon juice instead if you wish. And then next I add in crushed clove of garlic and that beautiful crumbled cashew blue cheese. And the other key ingredient to making aioli is crushed garlic. So you want to crush it really finely so that it disappears into the aioli and all we're getting is flavour rather than the texture from the garlic. Give that a really good whisk. This gorgeous cashew blue cheese is made in Tipperary in Ireland. I've been to the farm loads of times. The texture is so creamy. And I don't want to whisk it too much. I still want there to be lovely bites of you know, the crumbles of the cashew blue cheese. And I'm going to season it with a little bit of sea salt flakes. And that's it. The cashew blue aioli is done. I'm going to check on the wings and baste them a little bit. Oh, oh my God, the smell is <laughs> so good. OK, so when you're basting, just tilt your roasting dish down like that. Scoop all the juices up with the spoon and pour them back patiently over the chicken wings. And that will keep them lovely and moist and it will get as much flavour as possible into that juicy chicken wing meat. And back into the oven. And I might go and pour myself a glass of wine or a cold beer. They smell amazing! Yay! So 
pop all your chicken wings onto a platter. This dish is so ideal for if you've got like friends coming around you having like a movie night and everybody can just like help themselves with this gorgeous sticky sweet harissa chicken wings with this beautiful cash blue sauce also just for a supper for the two of you and great as i said earlier for the barbecue so there we go my beautiful harissa chicken wings with the most gorgeous cash blue Enjoy.